Hello, I'm Mr. Charlie, and this is SAT2 Physics Review. This course is intended as a review of all the topics covered on the Physics SAT2 subject exam. Uh, it also could serve as introduction to physics for students who've never taken it before and want to see what it's all about. As I said, I'm Mr. Charlie. I majored in physics. I recently graduated from Brown University, and I really love physics. <laughs> um, in my free time, I like to rock climb, ski, and backpack. And, um, well, let's get started. Why is physics important? Uh, I think physics is important because, well, first of all, it gives you very fundamental skills in numerical reasoning and um, analysis. But, you know, more philosophically and more generally, I think it's important to understand the way the world around you works. I mean, I look at this blackboard and I don't just see a blackboard or a surface for writing. I realize that there are millions and millions of atoms whizzing around all the time and you know, billions of neutrinos coming from the sun passing through the board every second that we don't realize because they're electrically neutral. Um, all the torques are perfectly balanced so it doesn't rotate out of control. All the forces are balanced. We'll talk about that more in chapter three when we get to Newton's famous equation F equals MA. Um, I think that physics, understanding physics really adds a layer of complexity to the way you see the world around you. And I think that's really valuable. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, today we're going to review exponents, units, and vectors. One important tool to succeeding in physics is having a strong foundation in mathematics. This course will assume basic familiarity with uh, algebra, arithmetic, exponents, um, some trigonometry, although if you're not very familiar with that, um, don't worry, we're going to review it today when we talk about vectors. Vectors are very important for calculating forces, displacements, uh, torques, accelerations, pretty much all the interesting things that we want to talk about in physics. Um, Exponents, I'm sure you've seen before, they're useful for writing large and small numbers. And we're just going to go over the rules again and how those work in case you've forgotten. Because it's really important, again, in physics, that when you see an equation with exponents in it, you realize what that means for how the variables depend on each other. Um, and of course, units. Physics is a science of measurement. So we're going to talk about um, the units we use to measure these quantities that we're calculating. So, what is an exponent? I'm sure you know this. An exponent is a way of writing large and small numbers. So, for example, if you wanted to write the number one uh, 10,000, you could write it like that. Or, a more compact way of writing it would be to say 10 to the fourth power. That, of course, means 10 multiplied by itself four times. Um, both these ways are a little bit longer to write, and 10 to the fourth is a little bit more compact. Now, it doesn't matter that much for some relatively small numbers like 10,000, but let's say you wanted to write a really big number, like 10 to the 100th. 10 to the 100th is a Google, which is where the famous search engine got its name, although they spelled it wrong. It's OL. Uh, a Google, again, is a one with 100 zeros after it, which you know, would take forever to write, dot, 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 etc. So, scientific notation lets us write numbers like this very easily. And again, in physics, maybe we don't use Googles that much, but the mass of the Earth, for example, is about 6 times 10 to the four, uh, 24th kilograms. That's a huge number, but using scientific notation, very easy to write. Similarly, you can write small numbers with negative exponents. And we'll talk about that in a second. So how do exponents work? Uh, any number to the zero is one. Any number to the first power is itself. And as I just wrote, any number to the nth power is that number multiplied by itself n times. Uh, any number to the negative n, so 